Hey everybody, welcome back to Smart Robots Review, the show that reviews robotics and other fantastic tech from around the world and out of this world. And speaking of out of this world, yesterday was the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 mission. I had the opportunity to visit Discovery World, a fantastic educational, technological, and just all around amazing museum in beautiful Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Thank you, Paul Flatten, for allowing me uninterrupted and unlimited access to the museum yesterday. I had the opportunity to interact with some college students from MSOE and Carthage College that are working in collaboration with NASA on some very interesting projects. This was all in celebration of the 50th anniversary uh, mission. So in this episode, we're going to talk to a Carthage College uh, student that is working on a project on how to better measure remaining fuel on a rocket heading out to space. Welcome to Smart Robots Review. Conventional methods of accurately measuring fuel levels for a space-bound rocket in real time are not as effective in low-gravity conditions. In collaboration with the NASA Kennedy Space Center Cryogenics Laboratory, Carthage College Space Sciences are testing what they believe is the solution. The project is called Modal Propellant Gauging, and their solution is using the Experimental Modal Analysis Technique. EMA involves recording the vibration spectrum of a solid object and using the spectral characteristics to infer the structural properties of the project. I think all that means is the solution is using sound and a whole lot of math to calculate the actual fuel levels, but luckily for us, I had a chat about it with somebody who would know better. My name is Cassie Song, and I'm part of the MPG project. The MPG project it stands for Motor Propellant Gauging, and it's a, a lightweight method of measuring fuel in zero gravity environments. Basically, how this works is uh, white noise gets sent through the walls of the tanks, and it gets picked up on um, the sensor, and then it also gets picked up on the monitor, which is on the opposite side. And um, with the ratio of these two, you get the um, frequency response function, which tells you the natural resonance of the tanks, which is really important for uh, zero gravity. Because as uh, the fuel tank depletes, the frequency gets higher. So if you're like an astronaut, you're like, oh, fuel's running out. So it's really important for that scenario. Uh, and which stage of the design are you in right now? Um, right now, we're just making improvements. Okay. So we're just trying to get really good ground data. So when we send it off in a launch in, uh, in the fall, it'll be really, really good to get the frequency. Response. Fall of 2019? Um, this year? Yeah, actually. Great. Yeah, Blue Origin's going to send it off on their uh, nice. new Shepard rocket. How did you get involved in this? So um, I talked to my advisor, and um, I actually know one of the other students on this project, and she really pushed me to uh, learn and just experience new things. My name's Cassie Song, and I'm part of the NG project. 